Hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial from blockchain. In this video, let's get started with creating a blockchain wallet. So I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be making this walkthrough step by step. So you don't have to worry about that if you don't know anything about crypto wallets, if you don't know anything about the crypto world, it's okay, we got your back. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to click into the link that I'm giving you down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free, guys. You don't have to make the research by yourselves. So after you click into the link that I give you guys, you can see that your window is gonna be popping at something like this. There's going to be popping up some email address. In my case, I want to use an email that I already have in here. Choose a strong passcode, confirm your passcode. Then we have the country of our residence. And in this case, you already have a referral code, which is actually from your server. So they're going to be helping you with some rewards for yourself and as well for this channel so you can help and support to make this grow more faster. Lastly, just get into by creating an account you agree to the blockchain terms of service. Let's get into the checklist and go into continue. All right. So lastly, we need to verify our email as almost every uh, crypto wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and verify my account. So after your email is verified, you want to either close this one and go back into blockchain. So it's going to be asking you to select a product to launch now. Now, in my case, I want to show you first how does a wallet works. So I'm going to go ahead and select the wallet, the easiest way to buy, sell and earn cryptos. Now in here is going to be showing you your home section. Now it says on cryptos in a few minutes. Uh, in this case, we want to go into skip because there are a few steps that we need to do in order for buying, swapping and selling Bitcoins. So first of all, as you can see here, we have this home section which you can see all your holdings there are so far. Here you have your portfolio, how much money do you have in US dollars and how much money do you have in Bitcoin uh, balances. Now in here is going to be appearing all the transactions you've made so far and into the US dollar as well. And now here into the airdrops, this is like um, an airdrop program, but you can earn um, a few rewards. But in my case, there are no active airdrops into my country. We'll notify you and a new one starts. So you don't have to worry about that. And here into the exchange, we can actually be seeing how those all the cryptos moves around into the crypto world. So as you can see, we need to do these three steps in order for continue making trades and all that. So as you can see, we must do this. So it says, tell us who you are. We need to verify our identity. As we make some trades, we're going to start from low fees, right? So after that, we're going to be sending you lower and lower fees. Now it's going to be asking me for an address. So I'm going to choose my country and treat address, a postal code and the city that I'm in. Now here is the limited access unlocked. We have some unlimited trading. We can make crypto deposits and we can make some crypto withdrawals up to 2000 a year. If you want to choose the full access verification, which I totally recommend you guys, then we have to continue to the full access verification. It's not that hard. So if you choose the connect, continue to the full access, it says, for example, use of account information, nature and purpose of business relationships. So what are you up to here into blockchain? If you want to buy some cryptocurrencies, if you want to send some cryptocurrencies to third parties, if this is just for business, if you want to trade some cryptocurrencies, enable all the options that you want to and go into next. Now we have to put in here our source of funds. So you're going to buy some cryptos with what? With some investment income, with some real estate, with a family thing. Uh, so you want to make some crypto trading, go ahead and go into next. Now, are you acting on your own behalf? In my case, I'm going to choose yes. Go into next. As you a politically exposed person, in my case, I want to choose no because we are not related to the political exposed things. And this is the very interesting part, the higher limits and the identity section. So we need to add a official identity document that really evaluates that we are the actual person. So after we've done that, we have some higher limits and this is actually great. I'm going to hit into next. Now here's going to happen two things. After you prepared your ballot document, you can put in here the right and the back part of your photo of your ID. After you send that into send those photos into blockchain.com, they will be asking you for connecting your smartphone or connecting your camera of 
your laptop in order for seeing if you are the legit person of the ID that you just sent. And lastly, provide your fault name so they can be helping you to make this a little bit more faster or you can scan the QR code. Now, just in case it happened, just like maybe after five or 10 minutes, if you upload a document that wasn't successfully, let's say that the photography wasn't that great, we have to re-verify our identity to access the full products and service. You have to resubmit that uh, once again in order for continuing. Okay, everybody. So now here you have it. The verification data has been successfully submitted. It says, thank you. Let's go ahead and hit into the continue. So the application was submitted. What's going to happen next? They can view the application status in here. So I'm going to go into done. Now, as you can see, we're now able to buy some Bitcoin and it's really easy to buy different assets. You can choose in here what kind of token you want to buy and you can choose in here the payment method. So after you hit into add card, go into submit your card and let's say that you want to buy like a dollar, you might be seeing that your price is now reflected in here. Now, if you hit into the prices section, this is going to be redirecting us into all the prices of the assets that are available for purchasing here into blockchain. So you can buy or swap a token in here, depending on if you see the action that says buy or swap. For example, you cannot buy the waifu token and you cannot make this swap for. So if I want to choose swap, for example, let's say that you have $5 a Bitcoin. You can choose the trade option. Now, in my case, it won't let me because I don't have cryptos inside blockchain. So I must uh, have some a few tokens. So if you want to choose, for example, receive from another wallet, you can do that. So it's going to be appearing here. All the crypto once again, all the tokens we can buy into blockchain and you can make the trade real simple. Now, if you want to see how the exchange works, you can see here we have the exchange section. So this is the hyperlink. So I want to exit this option and choose the exchange section. So it's going to be popping up this new window where we can see now how we can make some trades and all that. So as you can see, it's really easy to understand the exchange inside. Now let's exit in here just for a second and go into the reward section. This is a very great place to earn a few dollars. So if you buy once again, for example, Bitcoin, you can earn rewards by making some stakes. So if you choose earned rewards, you can choose your Bitcoin and you can send that. I mean, what's going to happen here is that the application is going to be holding your, your tokens. So you cannot use that for seven days. So after that, they're going to be sending you a reward of your total income that you just decided to hold. Right, so the accuracy daily and it's paid monthly. So there you have it guys. Actually, it's really simple to use this blockchain wallet. If you want to download another crypto wallet, it might be more probable that all the assets, all the things that we just saw into the tutorial are actually working the same way than the, for example, MetaMask or the Coinbase wallet or the Binance wallet. There's always the send, receive and the trade options and you can always reload and you can always reload here so you can see your prices, new prices of the tokens and the assets and all that. And of course, guys, you can always go into the general section, into the security section if you want to enable the two factor authenticator and if you want to back up a secret library phrase. So this is like a two, 12 words in order that you need to provide in order to recover your account. So it's really important guys that you really keep the private key recovered phrase. So once again, guys, if you find this video valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. And see you next time.